What's up, everyone? Happy Monday, and welcome into the Spiced Up Sports Zone right here on Cool TV, where we are bringing you the best in local sports coverage. A busy week of basketball where several 16th region players, current and former, stood out with some big-time milestones. We had some coaching accomplishments as well to get to, so we want to start off today's show by mentioning some milestones around the 16th region. And if we happen to leave anyone out, leave us a comment and let us know who we are missing out on. But we will begin in the college ranks where former Ashland guard Mikasa Robinson set the Louisville Cardinals women's basketball record for most all-time games played with 145. Robinson has been on the court with the Cardinals for 145 games and counting. I believe she's already... Uh, added to that record since then, but 145 career appearances was the record, uh, the one that got her in the books there at Louisville. And her former high school rival, former Miss Kentucky basketball, Savannah Wheeler, formerly at Marshall, now at Middle Tennessee State, was named to the mid-major player of the year watch list and also was honored as she scored her 1,500th career point there with the Blue Raiders. So congratulations to both Robinson and Wheeler, outstanding players and representatives of the 16th region that have gone on to have a lot of success in the collegiate ranks. Let's move now to high school where Rowan County's Haven Ford hit 3K. That's right, 3,000 career points for Haven Ford. It seems like she does something amazing week in and week out. A legitimate candidate for Miss Basketball in the state of Kentucky, as we've said on several shows already here on the Spice Up Sports Zone, but another achievement to the list for Haven as she hits 3,000 career points. As for Bath County's Zach Otis, he will be in the record books there down in Owingsville for a while now, one could assume, as he broke a long-standing record for the career points with the Wildcats. He accomplished that last week, so shout out to Zach Otis for becoming Bath County's all-time leading scorer. And sticking in that district, again, we went from Round County to Bath County. Now let's talk a little bit about Round County again with Vikings boys basketball coach Sean Thacker, who hit his 300th career win last week, too. Then let's move now to the 64th, where Stephen Bubba Day at Fairview got to 1K, 1,000 career points for him. He did it in style, a breakaway dunk to get his 1,000th career point. That's pretty impressive. Uh, And then moving back down to the 63rd, Rachel Bush committed to U-Pike. That was announced earlier today, or yesterday, excuse me, on her Twitter on Sunday evening. And uh, speaking of 63rd district players who have gone on to the college ranks, a big game for Brady Bell with uh, Cumberland's recently, too. He had seven threes in a game, so shout out to Brady Bell, the Russell basketball alumni. Again, some milestones and signings that we mentioned. If we happen to leave anyone out, please let us know, uh, and we will definitely highlight them uh, on a later show coming up this week. But that's a couple uh, news and notes from around the 16th region with alumni and current players. We're going to look at high school football in the area when we come back. Some news was announced last week that we want to touch on, so we'll talk about that here in just a moment on the Spice Up Sports Zone. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. For those on the go, the smoothie connoisseur, the break room favorite, and for those that just never quite have it all, Clark's has what you need to keep your day on track, make life easier, and keep your busy schedule moving forward with everything you need at Clark's. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. 
I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Does your gas station or convenience store need a facelift? If so, call River City Builders at 473-4112 for your remedy. Big or small projects, River City's Builders is a company for all your needs. We have extensive experience in the petroleum industry, from routine gas dispenser and canopy maintenance to above-ground, underground tank and piping work to full-blown remodels and new builds. Call River City Builders at 473-4112 for all your petroleum needs. We'll cover your back and keep your customers pumping gas. Welcome back in Spiced Up Sports Zone. It is basketball season, but we had some breaking football news last week. If you follow us on Facebook and social media, you might have seen this already or read about it in the actual Daily Independent. Uh, some moves coming across multiple classifications in Kentucky high school football. We'll start in 1A, where 1A District 6 will have a shakeup. Of course, Raceland and Fairview, the two local teams, that will remain in that district. Joining them will be Nicholas County and Paris, two familiar opponents for the Rams. I believe Raceland played both of them in their playoff run this year. Of course, Raceland finished as state runner-up and won a worth mentioning, of course, Paintsville, longtime district rival of Raceland. They switched districts, obviously, as you see there, uh, but they will be joined by Pikeville and Hazard in their new district. So uh, tough, toughest district, perhaps, in 1A with Paintsville, Pikeville, and Hazard having to duke it out. Moving on to 3A, several EKC and 16th region teams overall in 3A District 6 now, as it will be Bath County, East Carter, Fleming County, Lewis, Russell, and West Carter. Comets moving up from 2A to 3A, so now that battle for the barrel will have uh, district implications. Of course, Fleming County. Uh, Russell struggled a little bit this year, uh, but they've had some success, obviously, over the past several decades. And Fleming County, too, uh, they've obviously played very well under Coach Spencer. So team to look out for and some teams on the rise, of course, with Lewis County and Bath County. East Carter has seemingly improved every year. I know for a while, statistically, they improved every year under Coach Champlin, too. But uh, I just love that, you know, you got the battle of the barrel with district implications now. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Moving up to 4A District 6, this is maybe one of the toughest districts now in the entire state, regardless of classification. And when you look at those teams, you see on the screen there exactly why. Ashland, Boyd County, Greenup County, Johnson Central, and Rowan County. Several of those teams, uh, perennial contenders, of course, Ashland, won the state championship back in 2020. We know how good Johnson Central's been over the last 10, 15 years. Greenham County made it three rounds into the playoffs this year. Uh, Boyd County, a program on the rise under Coach Ferguson. And Rowan County also made a deep playoff run under Coach Ford several years back. So uh, that 4A District 6 is going to be so tough. And it's really probably a shame some years that some of these teams have to miss out on the playoffs because you look at all of those teams listed and, all five of them typically have solid programs. That's a look at new district classifications. Now, that will not be in place next year, but will take place in 2024 and 2025. And then in 2026, they will reclassify the districts. We'll wrap things up on this episode of Spiced Up Sports Zone when we return right here on Cool TV. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com, member FDIC and equal housing lender.
Does your gas station or convenience store need a facelift? If so, call River City Builders at 473-4112 for your remedy. Big or small projects, River City's Builders is a company for all your needs. We have extensive experience in the petroleum industry, from routine gas dispenser and canopy maintenance to above-ground, underground tank and popping work to full-blown remodels and new builds. Call River City Builders at 473-4112 for all your petroleum needs. We'll cover your back and keep your customers pumping gas. For those on the go, the smoothie connoisseur, the break room favorite, and for those that just never quite have it all, Clark's has what you need to keep your day on track, make life easier, and keep your busy schedule moving forward with everything you need at Clark's. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Finishing up the show here on Cool TV, we wanted to take a look at the upcoming broadcast schedule right here on Cool TV, as well as over the airwaves on Cool Hits 105.7. Some big matchups to highlight, of course, and we'll look now at what's taking place on Cool TV. We've got West Carter and Morgan County girls tonight, Raceland and West Carter on Tuesday, Russell and Lewis County on Friday and several games coming up on Saturday. Boyd County at West Carter and Kentucky Christian University taking on Johnson, Tennessee, and men's and women's action. And, of course, that big Kentucky versus Kansas matchup. You can hear that at 6.30 p.m. on Cool Hits 105.7. Before we wrap up the show, we did want to announce some KHSAA Hall of Fame inductions as several area schools were represented. Penny Gearhart of West Carter will join Hop Brown and her teammate Candy Brown with her induction. And speaking of candies, Greenup County cheerleading's Candy Berry finally gets into the KHSA Hall of Fame. I think we can all agree that was long overdue. The longtime cheerleading coach there at Greenup County who has won double-digit national championships with Greenup County cheerleading. So we've got for this week's episode, or this Monday's episode, rather, of Spiced Up Sports Zone. See you back Wednesday for a new show right here on Cool TV.